All right, what's going on guys? It's your boys, it's you. Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master video. In today's video, we're going to be using some more uh, Despia Dark Lords. I've been practicing, I've been practicing and practicing, and I think I'm starting to get better with the deck. You guys are going to see in this video, I'm going to commentate over a bunch of replays that I did. And I managed to go on like a little win streak, uh, on like an 8 in a win streak with the Despia deck, trying to practice the combos. And a lot of you were telling me the combo that you really want to go for is you want to go into your 2 level 8, activate the, co the Q, get that monster to zero then go into drag lubion and then do the otk that way i've been trying it people scoop every time i'm going to show you guys here in a few seconds but before we get into that hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button for me comment share subscribe we're seriously so close to 2000 subscribers i can't believe it but yeah hopefully you guys do enjoy and let's just hop straight into it all right here we are with the despia deck right here this is what i had in the last video and i'm still thinking about changing it i want to add some um that other card that i had let me see if i can find it it's one of the dark lord like a level four i'm pretty sure Ooh, wrong card dark look i can't even type today oh my god okay dark lord which one was it, it was this one indulge the dark lord i might add this one back in but i don't know i i want to see i want to do more testing with the deck right and obviously see which one is better but this is the deck list for now i'm gonna have it in the description below so definitely if you guys want to use the deck look at it and like i said hit that like button comment share subscribe for more and I'll hop into the first match right here. Alright, so this first duel that I had, we ended up going second here. Don't remember what happened. Oh, yeah, that's right. He ended his turn. I don't know what happened after this, but we're going to see it together. We're going to fast forward this. First, we're going to activate the Alibur to see if we can grab the theater in the hand. We ash that and then he scooped. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. GG. GG. Alright, so this match right here, this one was a little rough. I'm not gonna lie to you, if I do remember correctly, this one was a little rough. Unless, if this goes through, then it wasn't rough. Okay, this wasn't the match. So we got Ixchel off, draw two, activated Alibur to add the theater. We're gonna try to allure to draw something, and then we discarded the Morning Star because we don't really need it, right? We're gonna add Banishment here. We're gonna add this card. No, I mean, what is this? Contact, yes. We're gonna bring back the Superbia. Superbia is going to activate to bring back the Ixchel. Then we set, activate this to add another Ixchel to the hand. And I'm pretty sure what we do here is I activate the theater. Then we go into the first Dark Lord, right? Nice, nice. First Dark Lord value. Look at this. Beautiful. I love his art so much. Okay, so we go into first Dark Lord here. Activate his effect. Bring back the Superbia. Superbia activates. Bring back the Alibur. Then I'm pretty sure we go into the, the Fairy Link monster here. Just so we can add another Ixchel. I This one, I just wanted to thin the deck, right? I didn't want to get rid of these two. So I just got rid of Ixchel to add another Ixchel. And then we ended our turn there. We gained a thousand life points for every Fairy on the field. So uh, right here, I think we're looking good, honestly. He sets a bunch. I Ash the card demise because, you know, that card is actually kind of broken. Uh, it resolves. I was honestly thinking he might had like a called by the grave, but I don't remember. But he doesn't do anything here. I'm gonna activate Harpy's Feather Duster, but he ends up Solemn Judgment. I'm pretty sure that is Solemn Judgment. Yep. We got cooked right there, but it's fine. All we need to do is attack. We can't be targeted, right? But me being me, I just go straight in because I'm built different. I wanted to go into Drag Lubion so bad. Because I've, I've never really used that card. I haven't been able to use it except that one video that I did. But then he had this to negate it, but I was still going to bring it out. I was still going to bring it out. I was going to activate this, bring it, bring back the level 8. Uh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. And then we were going to... You know, it was just a whole plan. We were going to go into yeah, the Drag Luby on the silver. And he surrenders right here. So GG. Alright, so what do we got for this one? We ended up going second. I don't know what happened here. I'm going to be honest. I don't remember what happened in this match. Oh, it was Virtual World. We cooked. We cooked this Virtual player. Oh my god. I couldn't believe it. So I don't think he opened up with the best hand. But I'm pretty sure we were going to win anyway. Dep like, let me not speak. Because if he had the best hand, he would have gone into Calamities. And the only way we get over that is... I don't even know. Maybe like Super Poly or something. I don't even know. But he goes into his... Stardust Charge Warrior, and then he passes his turn, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, sets one pass his turn. Then it goes to our turn. I think we got lucky here, right? Did he draw? Okay, no, we didn't. 
We drew Alibur, activated Alibur to get the branded opening. Activate the theater and activate branded opening. Yeah, I think I messed up. I'm pretty sure I ended up messing up in this. I don't know why I always do this, but I go into this guy, the Q. Nice animation right there. And I, I didn't activate his effect. I wanted to activate his effect so bad. So that way I could have at least done 5,500. I ended up only doing 25. No, I hate to see it. But you know, we set the call by and we end our turn. There's times where I make mistakes, all right? There are times where I make mistakes, but it's okay. I think I get better throughout the video. But this, he ended his turn because he obviously didn't have anything. And even if he got rid of our Q, we were protected by branded opening. And if it gets destroyed by card effect, we get to summon something else. And if it gets destroyed, we get to bring back Alibur. So we were protected for that entire turn. So that was a GG. All right, so hear me out, all right? This one is a very long one, okay? Let me activate. Let me put the fast mode on because it's like, I'm pretty sure it's like six turns of me just going crazy. I don't know why I act. Oh, wait, no, I do know why I activated the Morning Star. I brought the Morning Star because I was going to wait for him to go into his second turn and then hopefully he wouldn't be able to OTK. Then we were going to try to get the theater so that way we can go into the first Dark Lord and then win. But he ended up having all these cards. It was just a back and forth between me and him. I don't know what deck he was using, but it was actually kind of crazy. Look, I've never seen this. I saw Sky Striker and there might just be an engine. I think he just scoops right here after that. <laughs> I just wanted to show you because this was pretty funny. Okay, so for this match, we ended up going first with a very good hand. Very good hand. Uh, I'm pretty sure we were able to get out the combo that is pretty good. We, I think we got into Q and we got into our um, Dramaturge. So that was pretty much the standard because we can negate and we're protected. We brought the Alibur. Alibur brought us our theater because we already had branded in the hand right so that was pretty good we're gonna activate the branded send the superbia for the next turn and then we go into the queue and we bring back the dramaturge and i think that's the combo that you really want to focus on for your first turn i think and then he scoops after he sees it okay so we went first in this one very good hand i'm not gonna lie to you this hand is so good but I think we baited out an Ash here. No, he let it go through. He let it go through. We activated the Alibur. We brought the theater. Activated Branded Open to bring out the Dramaturge. And like I said, you're gonna. Always, I think the main play you want to do first turn is do this, right? I'm not sure, but from what I've been seeing playing by myself, this is what I found more like the most successful turn one. Because even if I go into the first Dark Lord. Sometimes they get over that. I'm gonna be honest with you. Sometimes they get over it. Nothing you could do. But if you go into the the Despy of Q and the Dramaturge, at least you're protected for a little bit, right? Unfortunately, right here, he was able to get rid of some of our cards here, I'm pretty sure. And I got unlucky. I got super unlucky. Uh this match with the Allure of Darkness. But let's see what he does. Yeah, he destroys that. I think we were able to go into, we were, we were close to going into Drag Lubion, and we got cooked. We definitely got cooked. Okay, we drew that. I activated a of Darkness because I'm built different, and then all of it went to the grave. <laughs> all of it. I don't know what deck he was using. Honestly, I saw a Diviner, saw the Bigfoot, and I didn't know what was going on. I think he sets another Diviner in there. He sets one more Diviner. Yep, that was a Diviner right there. All I could do right now is just attack, honestly. We, we had the Super Poly just in case. Perfect. Now if I draw into another card, then we're good. But this one lasted 7 turns, so next turn it ended. I think I might have been able to get something. Oh, I don't know. This is crazy. I activated this because I thought it was going to stay on the field. I didn't read the effect, but it sends both cards back to the hand, apparently. And I think after this, he just scoops after we draw, right? What do we draw? I don't even know what we drew. Oh, Banishment. Okay, not Banishment. Wait, is this Banishment? Yes. We added that. We brought... Oh, yes. This was a go-to play. I activated it to bring the contact. Contact added Superbia. Superbia brought back the Dramaturge. Perfect. And then we go into Draglubion. Perfect. And then we were about to go into our number... Whatever card that is. I don't remember. Which one is this? Go quick. No. Can't see it. 
GG though. And yeah, guys, that was pretty much it. That's the video right there. I just wanted to show you guys some replays because I've been playing, uh, trying to practice this deck. I think I'm getting better, but there's definitely still room for improvement. Uh, I'm not the best with this deck. I think I'm better with the Shadow version because I have it on another account. I more comfortable with the Shadow than I am with this. But but uh i'm getting better with this one i do think this version is a slightly a little bit better than the shadow version in my opinion personal opinion but it's all preference at the end of the day right so if you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button comment share subscribe all this stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace